Blossom by ConsultWebs. Breakthrough insights to build a thriving law firm with your host, Tanner Jones. Hello, Lawson listeners. Today on the show, we're talking with Martin Aragon, digital advertising advisor at ConsultWebs, one of the nation's top digital marketing agencies focused on law firms. Martin is a primary contact for ConsultWebs paid ad clients. His main role is to identify sales opportunities for expansion and growth for law firms in their paid advertising, as well as reporting and communicating campaign results, along with guiding top-level campaign strategy. Martin's expertise has helped him manage a client portfolio of over a quarter million monthly ad budget while providing ongoing maintenance to get the most out of law firm client investments. Today's topic, it's around how law firms are leveraging agile marketing and advertising in 2024. Taking from his personal experiences, Martin will share how law firms can utilize agile marketing this year and into the future. So well, welcome, Martin. Thrilled to have you on the show today. Thanks for having me, Tanner. This is a this is a really important topic, and the reality is that most law firms who've been investing in digital marketing really know very little about the concept of agile. I mean, they may understand the concept of flexibility, uh, but certainly have not implemented the concept of agile advertising within their own marketing budgets. It's definitely said to be the future in terms of being able to get the most out of every dollar you're putting into marketing. It, it, it does allow for flexibility, certainly, but it also encourages much more of a collaborative approach between a marketing agency and the law firm themselves. Um, I, th I believe today, especially as there are more and more platforms to advertise in, the concept of Agile is going to be even more important, especially, again, to maximize return on investment. So, Martin, based on your experience, could you provide some insights on what Agile marketing entails for law firms who may be used to more of the traditional marketing method? Following up on your idea, Tanner, it is the future of digital marketing, at least for, you know, the business that we're in, law firms. And it's a fairly new concept, especially, you know, with the type of audiences that we're targeting. Traditionally, we're coming still in a, this, you know, battling kind of thing uh, with traditional media. So having the concept of agile marketing, which is being able to have all this budget and put it towards these different platforms, different type of campaigns towards where you can see the better results. And then eventually start focusing more on that one and, you know, give out on, on the idea of holding up to just one platform, to just one effort. And what's really interesting about it is that as um, the law firms and our clients are, you know, throughout the days are getting more marketing savvy, if you will, that they're starting to notice um, what we've been seeing this so many years in our experience that nowadays is not enough to just do SEO or to just do PPC, traditional PPC, or just, just stick with TV advertising. You can argue tell that a couple of years ago, TV was definitely the main focus of advertising to you know acquire new leads. Nowadays, because of whole technology and uh, marketing in general has been evolving, that's been slowly transitioning from traditional television towards more like a digital media, if you will. So it's definitely a interesting concept. And yeah, uh, people are just starting to notice that just one single effort is not enough. It's, it's just not going to cut it. And if you're not doing it, most certainly competition is definitely doing it. And that's where having the great opportunity of having this whole budget and, you know, us being the experts to manage it towards we understand and we've seen that it's working for you. It's going to really pay dividends. Lawyers, it's time you master the online arena. With ConsultWebs, dive into digital marketing without the guesswork. Our free law firm growth blueprint is tailored for legal professionals, offering precise, impactful strategies. So what are you waiting for? Upgrade your online presence and outshine the competition. Ready for a digital revolution? Click on the link in the description or visit consultwebs.com for more information. Be the standout firm everyone notices. 
Yeah, that's the big thing I see, at least from the con concept of traditional, you hit on this. I mean, I think a lot of law firms, especially if they've been in you know any form of marketing for a period of time, tra the term traditional can be used interchangeably between a few different concepts, or at least a couple different concepts. One being, as you noted, traditional TV advertising, or traditional advertising often relates to that, you know, older form of advertising like television, maybe even radio, or other forms of traditional. But then there's the other part that you hit on with respect to traditional types of digital advertising could be tactical things like pay-per-click, where a law firm may agree to commit a certain monthly budget to a Google pay-per-click ad campaign. And, and the big thing I'll point out before we move on here is that the, the concept of traditional is much more tactical. It's um, singular, if you will. There's a start and stop often. There, there's a lot more focus on the granular metrics of that individual tactic. And what we find is that there's a lot of wasted time in that if you're going to start a tactic like a pay-per-click campaign, and say you're going to run it for six months and evaluate the results. Well, assuming that particular campaign never produces cases, at the end of that six months, what have you done? You've wasted a lot of time. You've wasted a lot of budget. Whereas today in the modern agile environment, there may be multiple platforms, as you mentioned, Martin, where you're applying investment and reallocating those dollars based on where you're getting the best results. So based on that comparison, and looking specifically at agile marketing. Martin, what are some of the top aspects that you've experienced that agile marketing brings to a law firm and gives them that advantage to leverage? Definitely the option to reallocate your resources and the platforms that we recommend. So in our experience, most of our agile um, campaigns are distributed with between Traditional Google Ads, your normal pay-per-click campaign, of course, local services ads being paying a huge factor these last couple of years, mm -hmm. definitely taken a lot of the market um, and the law industry. So those two, you could say them as your main driver of leads, lead generation. But going back to my, you know, to my other comments, nowadays, you just can't stick with that. It, it's just not going to cut it. You have to take into consideration the brand and aspect of the campaigns and the whole marketing as well. Let's say you are crushing it with your traditional PPC ads or crushing it with the rankings on local services ads, but you're a relatively new firm in, in your area and you're competing with all these other law firms that have been around for many, many years. And on top of that, all the you know traditional advertising that they've done uh, in the past, like TV or radio or just billboards on the streets as you drive away, people are already familiar with them. That is what could make difference between, you know, the audiences choosing people that they've seen before, that they've seen their faces and they, they know where they are located in their area, whether, you know, versus the new guy that's a, you know, newcomer, um, especially, you know, audiences that, um, as well as our, as our clients are getting tech savvy, so they are starting to become aware of what how an um, ad looks like on Google. So they eventually start avoiding it. Um, and if they see that, hey, well, I, I don't really know this guy. I've, I've never seen him before in, in my area. They, do they really live here? Do they advertising here? So that's where the whole branded aspect comes into place and leverages in our agile um, purposes. So... Keeping in mind the, the, the traditional Google ads and local services ads for lead generation, you also could add a YouTube ads, um, which arguably could be the, the next generation of TV. We've seen clients, I, I've worked with clients who are running YouTube ads online and they tell me the, the YouTube ads are really working. I, I see all these people telling me, I saw you guys on TV, but we're not running any, any advertising on television. So that's where you can really see the effect that and, and influences from our audiences. The same goes with display ads. It's, well, falling back on, on, on that idea, it's kind of comparing YouTube with television. You could say banner ads, display ads could be a good comparison to billboards mm -hmm. um, out in, you know, 
um, on the streets or when you're just walking downtown. It's the same effect that you have the your your group photo out of lawyers, some great headlines, some a phone number. Which, if you really think about it, it's it's like a it's like a billboard out there. And on top of that, you add to your social media campaigns, which not nowadays I fairly know people that are only looking, you know, and browsing around the internet through social media. That's why a lot of businesses now have their business page. And they know they there's a market there that a lot of people might be reaching through social media. Could be because, because of the same reason that now, you know, um, there's a lot of competition. And again, what could really make the, the difference between somebody choosing you or choosing your competition is having that strong social media presence. Yeah, big thing that I, I mean, what I'm hearing is it's a full court press. It's it's intentionally focusing, you know, I think about the traditional marketing funnel where the top of the funnel is around brand awareness, just as you're talking about the power of, you know, why firms have invested in TV and radio and billboards for year over year over year. In the past, it's to create more knownness in the marketplace. And then as you work down that marketing funnel, you get into more sales oriented types of efforts, much like what you're referring to with pay per click and local services ads. And so it's that it's that whole ecosystem of digital being able to speak to both the branding concept all the way down to the lead generation. That really is the concept of agile. But you, you made a comment about how law firms are becoming more and more tech savvy. And I'd like to turn the corner a little bit here with respect to technology as a whole. I mean, tech plays a major role or at least a factor in enabling the concept of effective agile marketing. Tons of new tools available. It seems like there's new software available related to either analytics or marketing or something in between. Literally every week I hear of something new. There's tons of benefit to this, right, Martin? I mean, I think it, while it can get overwhelming with new tech availability, there's tech available that will help streamline processes for a law firm and ultimately help to increase more results from their own marketing efforts. So based on what you've seen being in the trenches in the advertising world, what platforms or what tools or software are you finding indispensable for law firms who are practicing any form of agile marketing? So... There's no denying that uh, SEO plays a big factor into that conversation. Um, and I always like to see it this way. When you go online and our audiences go online, they go on Google, they like, they search for the uh, car accident attorney uh, in their area. Of course, paid ads will always show at the first on, on the search results page. You'll get your local services ads at the top. Then underneath that, you'll find your traditional PPC advertising as well. And then, and then below that, you'll start to find the organic results. But that's, if you think about it, and, and then again, it goes back to people and, and our clients becoming more savvy and aware of how, you know, the whole ecosystem works. You'll find that uh, organic results are often what people trust the most if you will. So think about it this way. When you're going online and you're searching for your next car accident attorney, you'll find, uh, let's say, um, X law firm running local services ads. That's, that's the first interaction that you have with them. You're getting familiar with their name. Great thing about local services ads is that they show the name and a photo of the firm as well. So people are already getting familiar with the faces that they're going to be working for with in the future. Right underneath that, the same ex law firm that it's running ads on local services ads is still having and ranking in the top positions with the PPC um, traditional ads as well. So that's the second time that they're again seeing their name and getting familiar with it. We see it, the way we see it, it's influencing our audiences so they can find the best fit for, you know, their, uh, for people to represent their case. and ultimately um, making them find the best attorney, which is, you know, people that we work with uh, for them to represent their case. And not only that, so that's the second time that they've seen and getting familiar with their with their brand and their name, their message, what they can find, what the art clients can do for them. But then underneath that, down you'll find the organic results. On our experience, we've seen that audiences are often trust 
organic results more, right? You, they get to go into the website, browse around, find all these different uh, blogs, posts, silos that are related to the organic results as well and strategy. And that's sort of kind of the final stage of influence and the, the, the audiences and choosing them versus, let's say, choosing somebody else that it's only running, I don't know, uh, local services ads and then not, not even ranking in the, in the top positions. Yeah, and it seems like, I mean, clearly Google has been around for uh, more than a couple decades now. Users are getting very, very comfortable, especially with now having essentially a computer in their pocket with their mobile devices. They can Google at any point in time. And, you know, that that's while that's evolving, there hasn't been necessarily dramatic changes to that search landscape. But all around us, we definitely see tech advancements, both in marketing, but also even in the legal sector. I'm curious to hear from you, what what are any consequences that you anticipate for law firms who are not keeping pace with some of these tech advancements? Well, as technology ad advances, um, Google is, is not going anywhere. Your phones, your smartphones are not going anywhere. If, if, if anything, I was just um, listening to this pod, again, uh, this great podcaster uh, that lives in Puerto Rico. And I find it interesting how, you know, things of your normal everyday life can turn, be applied to your work and your line of business, right? So this guy, it's been on the radio forever. He started doing radio but he was like 19 years old and he worked his way out to becoming radio director to uh, being one of the most well-known people in, in his country, which is Puerto Rico. So he's been on the radio forever, but eventually uh, technology started to catch up. You know, at every day, less people are listening to radio, less people are uh, watching television. I can tell you, I've... The only reason why I have a TV is because I can watch Netflix on it. And from uh, from time to time, just, you know, catch up with a couple of UFC fights and that's it. Just watch classic movies that I already own. I don't really go on cable TV for the past eight years or something. So the new generations are really playing the, and making the difference. So this guy who's been in, on the radio for like 20 plus years, he's a... Uh, out of the sudden not doing radio anymore hmm. and why because he's been he started his this whole youtube social media digital um marketing media of a couple of years and now he's seen that that's that's where the future is going so it's kind of a uh, a deal breaker it's a game changer and the same thing could be said to a law firm that's been holding off to traditional tv doing radio, doing all the traditional marketing in their areas. But at, but at the same time, you, you, you got to wonder, well, who are my audiences that are often going out in the streets, you know, driving their cars, getting into accidents? More, more than likely, it's going to be, you know, the, the newer generations, right? Who's people that are driving more often, going out often. And those people, are, are they really watching TV? Are they really listening to the radio? And, you know, um. All they do is just let, like you said it on your phone, browsing around all day, and that's pretty much how it's going to be moving forward. So, if you don't catch him to that, if you don't go and have a strong online presence, there's a lot of business that you could be missing on. A lot of people that could be um, going with you to represent their cases, find legal help that uh, might be stranded with somebody else that might not necessarily be their best fit. <clears throat> Or that couldn't really get the best compensation that they deserve. Yeah, I, I hear that, and I, I mean, that resonates with me because I know, in, in working with law firms now for a couple decades, I, I see the importance of having the right partnership when it comes to marketing strategy, and then most most importantly, the execution of that strategy. In fact, every law firm I think who's investing in any form of marketing, they want to know that they have the right partner or the right agency supporting them who understands their goals who, who's aligned with culture meaning good fit within the firm um, and understand truly what the objectives are and what success looks like so let's let's take a moment and touch on that you know you've worked with a lot of law firms across the country for a law firm who 
may be considering, you know, finding the right approach when they're selecting a marketing agency attempting to find the best of the best, how can they assess an agency's ability to swiftly adapt to a client's needs or to adjust budget based on what's working? I mean, from, from your experience, what, what, where do they start in that process? Tanner, that's a great question. And the way I see it, it could be a combination of different things, but definitely what highlights there is experience, having that genuine, honest partnership relationship with your client and owning the results of your of performance. We've had clients, I personally have clients that, you know, we've, we've been running these ads for these campaigns throughout the different marketing efforts. You know, Google is changing that everyday performance might not always be there. That's just the nature of our business. Performance might, may, may vary. And, um, you know how business is people and different agencies reach out to their clients you know doing their their own thing so eventually this client um left us for a competition and after a, a couple of weeks i would say not even two months they go back with us because they know that we have this strong client relationship we are honest with them with the results that are we can realistically achieve for them and also learn from what we've done in the past. Probably what we've done in the past, let's say even a couple of months ago, it's not gonna work probably today or tomorrow when the next algorithm hits um, our platforms and our campaigns. So having that genuine relationship, of course, throughout all the many years that we've been doing this, having that great relationship, honest relationship, genuine relationship with our partners, so they can know they can trust us and ultimately owning the results that we have achieved in the past, adapt from that and learn and make those adjustments that will ultimately give, show the results that we're looking for in the future based on, you know, the platform changes and Google algorithm updates is what drove that client back to us because they've seen that other, you know, other marketing and agencies, law firm agencies could be hang tied to their ideals so what they've seen that's proven to be working for them. But like I said, algorithm updates happening all the time like that, that could be switching around your whole strategy, your whole road roadmap that you've developed for the next couple of months. And just like that, an algorithm happens, a, a algorithm update happens, and then that roadmap goes, you know, to the trash. And you, mm -hmm. then you get, you have to get a new one. Same thing could be say, uh, could be said with uh, PPC ads, right? You, you've proven, uh, you've seen that this headline is working fine and this description is working delightful. And then people start copying you that and then it's it's a whole cycle, right? It's a whole cycle. So having that experience, know how to adapt and how to maneuver that transition process when things like that are precisely happens every other day, it really makes a difference. Martin, I appreciate so much your willingness to come on the show and talk through this this concept that very well may be foreign to a, to a lot of law firms, but hopefully this is enough for them to at least start exploring how they can get more out of their advertising dollars through an agile marketing campaign. Are there any other follow-up thoughts or final feedback that you would want to share with our listeners before we wrap up? It's not only agile marketing that you want to see it in the paid side of business, but you want to see agile marketing as a whole, let's say a paid ads combined with SEO, but also traditional media. It, yes, granted, it's been, you know, losing strength this last couple of years for many years, and it's probably will continue to do that. But at the same time, it's, it's not, not, not a bad idea just to keep that little bit of effort over there going on. Cause you know, um, audiences are gonna, are gonna trust that sometimes. You know, but the, the, the junior, uh, newer generations are always coming in and there's no doubt that digital, it's, I'm sure I'm not the one telling you this, it's just the future and it's not going anywhere. So having that strong only presence, not only paid ads, but also diversifying your efforts throughout the Google network, the whole ecosystem, it's what's ultimately going to give you dominance in a market. Martin, I appreciate you so much. For listeners who are interested in reaching out to you, maybe they have additional questions related to Agile, what's the best way they can find you? 
You can find us through the Consult Web's webpage, LinkedIn as well. We're always happy to help you guys get the most out of your business, reach the, the right clients so you can help out, out as well. Thank you, Martin. Thanks for having me, Tanner. Always a pleasure. Blossom by Consult Webs with Tanner Jones. For show notes, links, and info, go to consultwebs.com slash podcast. Be sure to subscribe and leave us a review. Watch for the next Lawsome episode to discover more breakthrough insights to build a thriving law firm.